Now, today is a massive day in the AFL calendar, and I don't want to say that because we've got a new AFL CEO on Andrew Dillon, because this is the Zork and Robbo show. Welcome, everybody. Groundbreaking. We've got a live audience here. We've got Louis in the background. We've got yeah. Aiden behind the camera. How you going, Louis? He's going good. If it's I big know. crowd. Big crowd, and they're <laughs> going wild in here. Mate, has this been in the works for some time? It has. We've taken a little bit to get it off the ground, but it looks like it's off the ground. It is. It's the first episode, so if you're tuning in, it's going to be a little bit of a tester, a little bit of a pilot to see how we go with it. Yep. We've got these big screens in the background. Give us your feedback. What can we put on there? I'm also going to put our logo on there when it's done. Big shout out to Pulse who's going to get that created. But I'm very excited for this. Now, we're going to do a couple of episodes first, and then we'll, we'll tinker with it, see if we can go do a live talk show. Yeah, That's what it's all about. Give it a go, won't we'll we? Give it a go. We'll give it a go. But how you been, mate? This is... um. A bit, bit farther out for you to have, have far of a drive? No, 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 not too bad. you got to remember, we're training out at Springfield now, so this is just oh, on the way. A little detour, is, but uh, yeah, fantastic studio they put up, put together for us, Rob. Yeah, str- well just done. for us. Yeah, so. I, I know, I know. Unbelievable. They built this <laughs> for us. Like, like, you it just doesn't happen. You built it, that will come. <laughs> just like the Tassie team we're going to talk about later. Oh, um, yes, we But are. how you been, mate? What are you up to? Is yeah, that- good. A little bit of an injury on the weekend, Mitch, which you would have seen. You covered the game, I, I did, saw. I did, I did. It got the biggest ratings of the year, maybe on that uh, Brisbane Lions Frio game. And you guys dominated, which is good. I have had some feedback. I was a little bit biased. It's always going to be hard. It's hard because my first Brizzy game. So I've done the big block buses in Gold Coast a couple of times down, down, down oh, the M1. <laughs> yeah, I've seen your little vlogs about that. <laughs> the vlogs are popping off. Thank you very much for your support. But no, it, it's, it's hard because I always say like our team or we are doing this. So I've just yeah. got to differentiate that I'm not at the lines anymore, yeah. which I'll pick it up. I'll pick it oh, up soon you'll enough, get, sure. it's, yeah. you're an in, You were an integral part of our team. You still uh, are. I, well, I don't know about that. But <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been in a club since, but thanks, that, thanks for giving me that send-off, everyone. I really appreciated that. Yeah, you got, you got a vlog out of it, I got you? a vlog. I got a, I got <laughs> a, couple, I got a couple of hundred from the monetization of that vlog, so I appreciate that. <laughs> you guys are the best. Um, uh, but other than that, uh, I've been really, really good, thank you. Yeah. Um, and yeah. what are you doing? So off-field-wise, what, what are you doing these days? Because I know you're dipping your toes in a fair few things. Yeah, trying my hand at the radio station that yeah. we work at, Mitch. Yeah. Uh, SCN, shout to SCN in the morning. Yeah, SCNQ, you, they're going really well. Patton Hills. Patton Hills, um, obviously still doing my little Channel 7 crosses every now and then. Yeah, you are. On so a Monday you, you're night. Always, still, still doing the yeah, smile look, thing? I'll tell you what. Is it still funny? Are people still laughing at it or not really? I don't know. I, I got a good giggle out of it. They get they s- split it up now, so they sort of go onto the reporter, then it opens up into a double, yeah, so I'm there on, talking, and then they close it. off, yeah, they're yeah, onto it. They're onto it. Um, so I've uh, last week I tried it. I didn't watch it back, but I was I felt like it was a wide. They closed they closed on a wide last oh, week. So okay. I, I smiled for a little bit. You did. And can um, we just get a, that smile down the barrel? Which one are you looking at? <laughs> so the record last year I held it for was ten seconds. Ten seconds. On uh, on air ten seconds or was it just ten seconds? On air ten seconds. That's crazy. I know, so I probably held it for longer. Now what have you been up to? Oh mate, what haven't I been Life's up to? Life's been so busy for you. It has, yeah. So it goes, it goes crazy for a few days, mm-hmm. and then I'm really scheduled and routine and hectic, editing, uh, doing the radio stuff. You spoke about commentary, um, and then I'm trying to get the vlogging stuff going off his head, which is we had the live golf thing, which was... I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, we'll get to that, but that was absolutely crazy. And then I have my days where I'm just sitting at home, absolutely bored out of my brains. Okay, which is nothing. not good for you. Not good for me, because you know me. <laughs> I know you. You know yeah. me. And school holidays was the hardest, because the kids are at home all day. Yeah. And well, as much as I love them, like, there's only so much you can do with them. It's difficult. It's very difficult. It's so, difficult. And if you don't have things for them to do, it's no, difficult. You've got to plan that more than your footy schedule. You, you do. You do. You need to plan days for school. So we're giving out parental advice on the <laughs> yeah. show as well. This is more than a talk show. This is like <laughs> life advice at the same time. But yeah, that was tough. And obviously moving back from Darwin, which spent five months there. And Yeah, how was that? That was awesome. Yeah. Good. Playing that league was a whole eye-opening experience because yeah, right. those kids have got some talent up there. Yeah, and, oh, for and sure. And I'm 33, not getting any younger. Bodies wasn't feeling great after the AFL season. Got through most of the games. Um, did a little hammy at one stage in the in the rep game versus uh, who we play against. We played against one of the WA yeah. Waffle, Waffle teams. Okay. Beat, beat them first time. Historic win. Thanks to Robbo. Had the most touches on the ground, whatever. Um, and then, <laughs> so you've yeah, still got it as well. I still, I'm, oh, I still have it. I'm getting double tagged at the moment oh, in, yeah. in the Quaffle. So how is fine. the morning side experience going? I hate I'm it. I'm seeing a lot of it everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's, I hated it. Like the attention that I'm... Like, I love attention. You know, oh, I know. <laughs> but I don't love on-field attention. Like, these guys are bashing the shit out of me behind the play. There's only one camera angle, so I'm figuring that out, Who I when I can and can't hit blokes back. Okay. So once all I right. figure that out, it'll be great. For all those guys that watch in the league. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good because the taggers, they're all over it. Like, they, oh, yeah, we put our hands up for this. We want to, like, stop. They tell me that during the game. I'm like, yeah. fuck, I'm, ha- I'm down here to have fun. I'm retired. I'm not 
Yeah, that I get it. Mentality. Yeah, I remember actually. I'll tell you a funny story. Um, Dan Merritt, he signed up to play at Cooper. Roo. Well, he, saw, he I think he did a couple of games at Noosa. He played no, for he Noosa did. a couple yeah, of yeah, exhibition games. Uh, and then I think he signed on for Cooper for about five games or so. Yeah. And he got to his second game and he's like, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> like, p- blokes just go out of their way to like, oh, I mean. I'm going to smash an ex-Brisbane Lions player or an ex-AFL player. 100%. And it's, it's, so, it's nothing to be proud of. No. Like, just it's like, and, just and run around and have fun. Like, that's what I thought the league Embrace the opportunity. Was. That's what I thought the league was. I like was you're like, playing with a guy, you're playing against a guy who's played 200 AFL games, yeah. done almost everything on the big stage, yeah. and then you want to go and like, Get your Knock him out, or yeah, 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 I don't, I don't get it. No, nah, I actually had a good convo with Dad. Um, the Noosa game was streamed live, and he watched it, and he's like, "Mate, what the fuck is going on in that league? I thought you're playing like a yeah. like a second tier competition, like below AFL." He goes, "That looked like full country footy, like the way they were like just backing me, like in the back, yeah, just whacking the shit out of you, just like not. We're in there forward fifty, and there's blokes on me, like, yeah, I'm like, I don't mate, you're it, in, it's in your forward line. This can't be fun for you." Yeah, I like, don't, yeah I don't. like it didn't make no sense. Pick yeah. two goals at 29, 22 contested. Doesn't matter. That's a whole And you did your story. MCL on the first minute, I did my LCL on the first quarter. Oh, my And goodness. then broke a finger in the third, and I was like, fuck this game. Yeah. But, on right. the, on the, hey, we're four, we're four from four, the Morningside Panthers. Only won four games last year. I mean, you're coming from, you, you're at a club that's got a pretty rich history in the QAFL. Yeah, they do. Like, they've I been pretty successful. I didn't realize that. Yeah, so, very. So I, Jerry Berry. So I just signed up, <laughs> I was literally signed the contract for Southport. And then they came on the day while sending it back. So yeah. I was like, why not sign up? It's in Brisbane. Close to home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. Now, the Lions had a big win on the weekend, mate. They won by 48 points. You're now four and two. So we're discussing football on this show. This is somewhat football chat. Okay. This, okay. We'll get no this a little footy talk um, segment. <laughs> right four on. and two at the moment. At the start of the year, I was like, oh, no, Robbo, no Lions because it was... And we thought the same. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I was like, I've got to go down and start training with them again. <laughs> Was there any panic stations and stuff early days? Or were you guys like, nah, we're just like, we've got new players in, we've got to start gelling, all like all the above, or was this a bit of a bit of a sluggish start? Uh well, our preseason form was hot, very hot. That's why that's why I put you guys to grand final against Melbourne. So there's a little bit of, well, I don't want to say it, but there might have been a little bit of complacency. Yeah, I mean, we played the two grand final teams in the preseason and, and beat one, them. one pretty convincingly. Yeah. Too. So whether that creeped in or not. No one's ever going to admit to that, are yeah. they? Well, you just did. Well, I said it might. <laughs> <laughs> it could have. So, from that sense, yeah, maybe a little bit of complacency in the group. We went over to Port Adelaide and yeah. they... Rude awakening. Well, they... They actually know, good... Like, well, you looked at their form in the preseason. And yeah. this is why you should never, never trust preseason yeah, form. Because yeah, yeah. they would just sort of look like they were just going. And then round one came and they... Looked cherry ripe they did. and just disposed of us. Yeah. And even though we were in front at half time, I mean, didn't f- feel like that way on TV. Absolutely not. I, yeah. I was watching. I, I was like, playing. it was a lucky to be. In the it. free kick count was twenty two to four yeah, halfway that. through the second quarter. Were, like we were kept. We in never the game. get got those free kicks last year. So maybe that's a positive not there anymore. I will take it. But <laughs> um, three quarter time. Uh, sorry, half time came. Yeah. Port Adelaide changed whatever they did, and wow, yeah. they were unbelievable. And and they're in the top eight at the moment. So like, it's well, not, they're fifth. It's not that bad a loss now when you think about it. Well, you look at Port Adelaide's run, and they're fifth now. Yeah. And they've played some, some good teams. Very well, all of them yeah. have been fantastic. Most of the top eight, all I think. Yeah, really. Yeah, I don't think there's been. How t- come they got stitched up with the draw then? Well, you just do it off the last year's one, but obviously we've seen the rise of a lot of teams this year. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're four and two now. We obviously played Melbourne the following week, had a really good result there. The Bulldogs game, we just never, we never got going. allowed to get our yeah, ball movement up and going. running. So they were too good for us that night, and then Collingwood got back to the Gabba and. Um, from there, we sort of found a little bit of mojo in our yeah. um, in our game style, and a lot of that was built off defence. And we spent a lot of time in the preseason working on our defence. So the fact that we've started to see that come into fruition now is great. And yeah. off the back of that, our, our big boys and our small forwards are getting opportunities to kick goals. And um, you know, if you give um, that forward line the weight of numbers that we have over the past month. Um, eventually they're going to kick a score and, and we've been able to do that. There, you got, I reckon it's the best forward line in the comp. Uh, yep. Well, who's what, better? Oh, oh, no, well, I don't, I don't know. Well, I think like the, no. the avenue to goal is ridiculous and you've got your mid- midfielders that can kick back, or not kick bags, but kick a few goals as well. Yeah, well, you know, versatility is a massive thing in our yeah. club. Um, so the fact that now there's so many different players that can play through the midfield, play down half back, yeah. um, you know, that it all helped. Yeah, my three votes for the game were three Lockie, two Ashcroft, one Brayshaw. Thoughts around that? Couldn't squeeze in. Nah, you only had 19. What about me impacting the first quarter? Nah, nah, don't matter. 
doesn't, it doesn't set the game up. Doesn't matter. You came off in the last quarter and you only played sixty eight percent game time. Nineteen touches and, and you kicked two points. Yeah. So maybe if you kick two snags. <laughs> well, I know I know you inside and out. Lewis, I know MA. It was a goal, wasn't it? No. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, so oh, it so was a goal. I'm not sure about that was, review. Umpire's call was a goal. And then what happened? And then I couldn't I couldn't see evidence to overturn that decision. Was it a touch off the boot? No. The answer to that is yes. But oh, we, so it was. we weren't going upstairs for that. We're going for it touched on the line. Oh, the drip the one that dribbled yeah. along the ground? Was that you? Yeah. Oh. So it was definitely touched off my boot. Yeah, but it was touched on the line too. I don't think it was. Nah. I, I cannot find the evidence. When they were showing on the screen, I was like, I'm going to get away with this. Yeah. And then when it come up behind, if it was anyone else... They would have gone... Would have had a goal, I think. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was Did touching the line. Yeah. You reckon? I think so, yeah. Because yeah. okay. like, the ball has to be fully over the line, right? I think it was like a quarter... It does. Over the line. I reckon when you watch it in fast play... It looks like, you, it it looks looks like, like it, it looks like he only touched that eye past the line. Yeah, it looks and like you can goal. slow it down. But unless you can zoom right in and see his finger on the ball... Yeah. I don't know how you. You realise that they got that technology though, right? And they're not providing. They probably didn't show it. They probably didn't show it. Okay. Well, but yeah, no. If I you think they've got you, that technology, then all <laughs> no worries. I thought you played a good game, but it wasn't in my top three. I think there was a like Sarong maybe had thirty odd two. Yeah, but so we're not doing the touches thing again, are we? I'm all about that. You are. That's the only reason I'm not on the list. So I'm going to refer back to the, <laughs> the disposals. Impact Absolutely player. Not. Yeah, if you kick two goals, maybe I would have given that too. But um, can we just talk about the young star in the making? Yeah, goal? Yeah, he is, isn't Because I was. Oh mate, when I was in the when I watched the replay, I couldn't believe what it was, and what? then it went through. How? Where were you on the ground? And <laughs> I don't know the answer. Where were you on the ground? And what's your thoughts on the goal? Wasn't on the ground. At the wasn't time. on the ground. No, you started on the bench. off in the second quarter, and I have and you can see clarification of Cam Rayner. I have just gone bang, whacked him straight. Grab Cam's on the phone to <laughs> I think Muzz, our forward line coach, and I've just grabbed. I've gone. Have you seen that? And I've got goosebumps now thinking about it. That was the single-handedly greatest goal I have ever seen. No one can beat that. The degree of difficulty on that is absolutely enormous. Yeah. Like, you have no idea. Go to the park and try that 100 times. He's got a bloke hanging off him. He hand passes it to himself. He does. He hasn't got an angle to work with. He kicks off the outside. Like, you can't do it's that got kick. got everything in Kids, everything. try it at home. Go your hardest. Send in some vision of you trying to do Will Ashcroft's goal with someone hanging off your back. Karate kick in the air. <laughs> <laughs> And my son pops up with a, oh, I nearly did. I promise you now, son, you did Boy, it. If, if you can get him doing that and getting the go, I'll give you 100 bucks. But Zorko said it. If you try it and you can do it, send it into this email below and we'll have a look at it and it'll be on the next week's podcast. You, you can't, do, you it. can't I, do it. I, I, mate, I've got goosebumps thinking about it. Like, it's goal of the year. Like, it has to be. No, it's year. a no-brainer. You, the, the, we've got to start adding in degree of difficulty yeah, to yeah. these kicks. What he had to work with was literally... He come out of a stoppage with a bloke on him. Mm. He popped the hand pass up. He's in... It's one of the best goals I've seen, and I'm glad that I was there to watch it, but far out. If they I mean, Charlie's was good last week. See, I didn't see Charlie's last week. So but everyone keeps talking kick about Kick come it. in, outside of the foot, oh, mid-air. Oh, yeah, yeah, nah. Oh, I've just kicked everything out. Sorry. No, you, haven't, you haven't. It's all good. <laughs> out of the air. Yep, absolutely meant it. Got a, good, so got a lucky break. Yep, got a lucky break. Turned right. Goal. Unbelievable. So you clarify that with, with Chucky. And he's obviously, you know. He'll, he'll say he meant it when he probably didn't. But I reckon you, you nah, believe it. You believe I, it? I, I'm, I'm backing Charlie in, okay. yeah, definitely. But oh, this goal. That's is, more of a deflection goal. This one's like he's had to do everything himself. This, you can't do it. No, he can't. You, he, it you, remind me of Daniel Wells when in the goal square. Remember? Yeah, that? yeah. So, but that's right in front of the goals at the ruck. I mean, he had no right to kick that goal. <laughs> no, no right. It's goal oh. of the year, and I've never seen goal of the year in round six. Uh, well, I'm telling you, that, unless someone has a backflip like bicycle kick, that's the only thing they could top it. Probably. Honestly, I don't know what could beat that. Yeah, no, I was amazed by that goal, and he deserves all the praises and stuff. But another big talking point, it, um, I think that should or will come up very soon, is the mid-season trade yeah. slash loaning players. So the NRL do it well. There's a few pros and cons with it, and it has to be a lot of logistics that go into it and what works for both clubs, both parties. Absolutely. But do you think in this time of need for like a team like West Coast who – are getting absolutely pumped at the moment because they have literally no players on their list to choose from. I think they've got 25 max that they can that choose. Right. They can choose. We've got 17 injured. Wow. Um, do you think that this is something that the AFL need to introduce loaning players? Because I know for a fact that we can talk about Brisbane Lions because we've been there and you're currently there. There's a few players on the list who aren't getting a game in the seniors who are killing it in the VFL that would slide straight into that team and maybe every team outside the top eight. Do you see um, 
that AFL with a new CEO as well in Andrew Dillon that that might be put towards him about the mid-season loaning players and, and maybe expanding the draft they can get two players? I definitely think that the question will be asked pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, I think yes to a trade and I think yes to a loaning players because, as you said, there's a lot of teams at the moment in the AFL that are injury depleted. West Coast is one of them. You can see Collingwood in their They're shortage like of talls at the moment. And there is some unbelievable talent on AFL lists that aren't getting a game for whatever reason it is, whether their team's just going really well at the moment, yep. players aren't injured. Yeah. Why wouldn't you want to go and try and increase your knowledge of the game? Yeah. If I'm Brisbane. at Brisbane and I go to Collingwood yep. and I'm loaned out for a month, yep. then I come back to Brisbane, then I've got all the knowledge and intel of their game plan. Yeah. So then we play Collingwood in a final and I'm back in the team. I know I've got their blueprint. And now I know there's cameras and everything set up and everything. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's game plan's worked out. Yeah. But there's still that... The inside knowledge. Yeah, so I think that's the, so that's a big con, right? Like for to go through because if I was absolutely so, let's just use for example, Collingwood need a, a ruckman at the moment. Yep, um, we've got Darcy Fort in the VFL who's played a couple of games in the AFL. Unless Big O goes down, he might stay in the VFL for a while. Collingwood need him, and they come to Brisbane and go, "Hey, hey guys, we need a ruckman. Can we loan him for two to three weeks till we get um, Cameron back or mm. um, Mason Cox back? Is that okay?" What do you think Brisbane are going to say? What's the risk versus reward of sending their second best ruckman to Collingwood on a loan system? Would it be, oh, if he goes there, we'll learn some stuff about Collingwood, obviously about the you know structures with the hit zones. We can let our players know their hit spots, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Which is dangerous. Which is very dangerous. Yeah. And on the flip side, they can, he can go to Collingwood, which he wouldn't because he's only there for loaning and he'd be going, hey, guys, this is what we do at the Lions. Let's implement that here and give you some of our IP. Yeah. That's... That's probably a big thing for the coaches to be like, yeah, nah, I'm not doing that. Yeah. And, and the risk is if he if if a player goes to another team and gets injured, yeah, and they're out for the rest of the year. Well, that's it. Then what was what was the reward for the club lending a player, let alone good faith, because they needed it? I don't think why would you lend a player to another team to make them go better in, in the competition? Well, I don't think we could. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. That, yeah, I didn't even think of that till now. That's a good point. Why would you want a team to get better <clears> if you're if you're the Brisbane Lions? If I, why would you want Collingwood, who are flying already? Who don't have a ruckman? Yep. To get it to get better. Yep. So I, I think there has to be some. That point incentive. you just make is actually really good. Yeah. Um, I think there would have to be a monetary. Um, uh, rule. So you could like a loan a player for X amount of dollars. Yeah, I reckon. Take yeah. some of their salary and open up some space for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I think Forty's probably he's a good example for Colin because he's a ruckman. Yeah. Um, but you're probably more looking at. For instance, if you had a couple of younger players that are going really well playing yeah. in your reserves at the moment and they're getting starved of an, of an, of an opportunity but you think they can play at the level, yep. then why not give them the experience yeah, to then okay. go and play at another AFL club and That's a good give one. them a chance to blossom, find a little bit of self-confidence to know they can do it at the top level. They then come back the next year and they might just be dominating for you. So that, I like that point. There's plenty of pros. There's plenty of cons. Yeah. Um, I, I, I would throw to it if they're, they're dead set on – we ha- they'd have to figure out what the loan length would be. Mm. If it's literally just a pinch hit for a couple of weeks because they're down, a, down, like say they needed a backup ruckman and they need one to come in and start performing straight away, loan him out for a couple of weeks. But if it's one of your top players, say if it's like a uh, any any top player in the ruck in the ruck competition right now, you say okay, we'll give us a future round pick for him. Mm. Could be a later in later in the draft. Could be like a pick. Know, 60 or what, fifth pick or whatever it may be because if you're loaning a player out you want something back and you know, 20 whatever grand it is or to take a bit of their salary, I don't think that's enough reward for a team that's going to lend a player out. Mm. But I honestly think the loan system would be great for the AFL. Cause, yeah. Because I think there's so much avenue for players, as you said, for younger players to get more experience. If, Absolutely. The, if the team's depleted like West Coast right now, yeah. which is rare as... All hell, to be honest. Like oh, their, absolutely. Their injury, yeah, their yeah, injury battles. Sure. Definitely. And and you look at Collingwood and you'd be like, okay, well, they traded out one of the best rucks in the competition last year, so that's their problem. Mm. So I think it's a great thing. Mid-season draft, I think they could probably up that to two players. Okay. Depending on, you know, list sizes and how many injuries you have. So yeah. if you've got a couple of blokes on the long, well, that's long-term have, injury. Well, that correct. If you're going to bring more players in, you've got to put more on the injury yeah. list. And then, uh, of course, the next thing is, well, you're going to have to pay these guys as well. Yeah, so salary. So cap. all of a sudden, soft cap and player payments and everything comes into it. So there's so many logistics to uh, to sort of unpack. Yeah. 
But I've got no doubt the AFL have somewhere gone through them. this. Yeah, definitely. They just have to. Have this. I'm all it's for too it. Much, there's too much chat around it yeah. to not have this. Yeah. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of it because um, you see, them, like we always refer back to the NBA and other codes doing it, NRL doing the they signing players for next year and the year, years onwards during the season. Yeah. I don't know if AFL fans are ready for that because oh, they just seem so passionate about not turning into that type of sport. Yep. And, yep. and yep. the NBA, the NBA do it cool. They do like 10 day contracts, 12 day contracts. Like Nate Smith, who's in the VFL, killing it at the moment for yeah. uh, VFL in a, I don't know what team he's at, uh, maybe Port Melbourne. He's dominating and he can just go straight into an AFL system, which he's had his chances being injured. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. But I think it's a great um, avenue to players around the country. And I've looked deeply into this because obviously retired last year, Dilly said whatever you want to call it. Um, and Dilly, we'll call it retirement. <laughs> we'll call it retirement. But that's something that like, <laughs> I've had a couple of teams come and, and talk to my management because I've been playing pretty well in the level I'm at now and, and experience-wise for the other players. We saw Schofield mm-hmm. for West Coast have to go back and play in the Resies. Yeah, he, he, came out, he came out of time and yeah. played. Kicked a goal or something. Josh Kennedy. Josh Kennedy could be one. Said, yeah. yeah, he could be one. You have the other Josh Kenley from Sydney, who's you know, still a very good ball winner. Oh, and, pl- and in playing in these leagues, I see so many players that could easily just put up into the system that yeah. haven't had the opportunity because of the draft or their age or whatever it may be. Yep. But that's yeah. something cool. Are you all for it? No, I'm, I'm definitely – that's a tick for me. I think it's a it's a no-brainer. I think it should happen sooner rather than later. Yeah. But there's a lot to unpack in that. Yeah, the, and players have to want to go to. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah that's that's a that thing. is a thing. Um, a 30, 33-year-old Dane Zorko with uh, a couple of kids. Yeah, mate, you're, you're shipping yeah, down sorry, to – Yeah, sorry, mate, you're gone. We're sitting yeah. it down in Tassie, mate. Oh, and a big shout-out to uh, Tom Berry. Happy birthday, mate. Um, it is Tom it is Berry's, Berry's birthday. birthday. He just replied back to my message, which is crazy. I didn't think he had my number still. But uh, happy <laughs> birthday, Tommy Berry. Hopefully enjoying the Gold Coast and get a game soon down there, brother. Get him, boy. Now, I think we should finish off the tips for this week. It's early in the week. It's Monday. Oh, so teams haven't even come out Teams yet. haven't came out. Oh. There's nothing out there yet. So but we'll give it a go anyway. We'll give it a go anyway. And we'll, we'll put we'll start getting a little tally system going, a little yep. back and forth, bit of banter, a few challenges I think we'll get going soon. Yeah, that's it. Winner of the week. We've got to get some stuff on the TV, which obviously there's three there. So we'll figure that out. One of them will work eventually. One of them's going to work. I don't know which one, but it'll be good to go. So tips of the week. Yep. All right. We've got Lions versus Blues at Marvel on Friday night. Well, that's a no-brainer. I can't. <laughs> this is the Robo- Robinson Cup. Oh, it is too. Yeah. I don't know the stats, but more it's more importantly, Swamp. who are you yeah. going for then? It's Sir Swamp. If you're watching, <laughs> can I get a stat? Am I the only player to play 100 both clubs? Well, you'd have to be, wouldn't you? Surely. Oh, for Brisbane Lions. Lions yeah. Not Fitzroy. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Well, even then, I don't know. But yeah, Sir Swamp will have that. I should be doing the cup or something. Uh, Lions for me. Lions for you. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, the Baggers. You like, would. I am just because you chose Lions. And you would. I'm going to go the Baggers. So is that what we're going to do? Yeah, we're, I we're, think so. Okay. No, no, not, not every time. Opposite. Because I think okay. this one, especially because this is a big game. Yeah, it's a big game. They're playing some great footy. They are. They're up and down a little bit with inconsistency. But on the weekend, obviously playing against West Coast, which isn't anything to brag about. Um, Charlie, Charlie Kern. Kern over wow. Nine snaggeroonies. Unbelievable. And Penny, he could have had ten, but he was trying to be nice. Yeah, well, that's nice the game quarter. now. All right, Tigers versus Eagles. Where is it? Tigers home. Uh, yeah, Richmond will bounce back. Yeah, of course. Poor West Coast. They've, they're just so injury depleted. And yeah, you know, they've got some good mates over there. And Big Witho. Yeah, Witho. Yeah, Luke Shuey. Shuey? Yeah. What about Yo? You mates see Yo? Oh, we talk. No, you don't. Not recently. <laughs> when we're on the field. When was the last time you talked to Yo? <laughs> last year when we played him. <laughs> I don't even think you played. <laughs> you have to cut that out. No. Uh, we've got Cats and Crows. Cats at home. GMHBA. Oh, this would be a good game. This really? is a great game. I'm Crows were Crows unbelievable are, I yesterday. Have, uh, Three goals, nine, halfway through the second. Mate. The game could have been, should, should should have have been, been over. It should have been over. Like, they missed and some really easy man. goals. Fuck me, Collingwood. They're just, they just don't give up. Good. I love the way they play. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. It's great for the game. It is. Uh, never say die attitude. And, you know, they hung in there for the full 120 minutes and got the That's result. crazy. They're, um, they're only in front for 30... 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Geelong are flying now. They're, yeah, they're yeah, up they're, and going. They're at the they're, best Their now. system's good. They're, they're ready to go. Geelong Cats don't lose at home very often too. Very often. We've got the Suns versus Melbourne at Heritage, 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 Heritage Bank, Bank Stadium. Stadium. Yeah. Uh, Melbourne for me. Yeah, same as I'm going there. Oh, by the way, I chose Cats as well. Um, we got Giants versus Bulldogs. At, good game. At Giants. Monica. Yeah, Monica Oval. Is that Canberra? Yep. Yep. That's Giants. A, yeah, you're going to go Giants? Yep. I'm going to go Bulldogs then. Okay. Because what was where? Lewis, yeah, it is Lewis a home game. It is a we have a producer in the background. Yeah. That is Lewis Zorko. <laughs> he yep, has confirmed. Home game. Oh, you should be up here doing this. Yeah, why aren't you coming doing for me? No, you should be saying they're telling us what games they are. Oh yeah. Bring me into an half one. 
Fremantle. Fremantle Hawthorne. Where is it, Lewis? Up to Stadium. Yep. yep. Uh, Fremantle. You reckon? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to go Hawthorne for that one. Port Adelaide? Port Adelaide and Essendon. At Adelaide Oval. Yeah, Port. Port. Port, Port for yep. sure. Port. Next one. Um, Collingwood and Sydney Swans. At the MCG. Yeah, the Pies. They're, they're flying. Like Sydney. Uh, Sydney oh, we're going Sydney. They lost, that's, they lost again. They're going to have to get their players back you realize eventually. You realise there's a challenge going on this weekend for this. Yeah, that's okay. fine. I think Sydney can bounce back. Okay. Well, I'm glad they can. I'm they, a Swanee supporter, only, but I don't believe that. Okay. North Melbourne and St. Kilda. Yeah, Saints. Stadium. Don't even say North Melbourne. No, no, I'm, I'm not the Saints. <laughs> you look like you're going to say something. No, no, no. Oh, I'm saying, um, yeah, Saints are going really well. Yeah, they are. Very All well. right, thanks, producer Louis. I really appreciate that. All right, mate. mate. Knuckles. You go back down on that Boom. couch and enjoy the... Uh, Enjoy that iPad. F- iPad they're using. <laughs> no phone. No oh, phone. Yeah. All right, guys. Where am I looking? This one. All right, guys. That is the first episode of the Zork and Robbo show. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Make sure you send your questions in yep. and some answers that we had from the during the segments. So really, really appreciate that. We want to get that in, get you guys involved. We've got some fun challenges coming up, some giveaways as well. Big Dane Zorko, thank you for coming in today. I know it's a big drive for you. Hopefully your body feels good and you're back up playing this weekend. If not, then all good. Might be back this week, Rob. <laughs> okay, well, you heard it first, Zorko's out, so, so Colin, you don't have to worry about doing any work with Zorko, but this is really fun, we've got some great shit that's going to be happening in here. Yep, be good. We've got, we've got so many options for avenues for content, really excited for it. Thanks, Dane Zorko. Let's go get him. Woo! Bye. Bye, Bye. Louis.